In this video, I'll show you a simple way to enable a WordPress membership approval process. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so before we actually start the video, we've got two methods in creating this, right? So we can either use the AOVOP memberships plugin or we can use the AOVOP user registration plugin. So both these plugins will allow you to achieve a similar result. And this video will be based on the memberships plugin. Okay, so for example, I've already created an account um, beforehand, right? But that account hasn't been approved yet. So let's actually try to log in to that account, which I've created earlier. Right, and here we've got this notification letting us know that this account is pending approval, right? We can customize this message as well. Once it's been approved by the admin, then we'll be able to access this account. So let's quickly approve this account and then let's double check again. So in the back end on the members, we can see we've got a pending user. We can just filter by pending here. And then here we've got the option to approve or disapprove this account. And if we want as well, we can just click edit and we can see some more details regarding this account registration. So I'm just going to quickly approve this account and then we'll try to log in again. And we should be able to access our account right? and we can access it just fine. So I should mention as well that we can set up automatic emails to go out based on the status of the account. So when an account's been approved or rejected, we can send different emails automatically out to the user. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WordPress website, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP memberships plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. With that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the AOV Up Memberships plugin, the next step is to go ahead and install and activate that plugin. So we we'll just go plugins, add new, build and install a plugin. And we can use this plugin in conjunction with WeCommerce, which will allow us to add various different payment methods, right, to our membership website. If you don't need a payment method, that's fine. We can still follow along with a tutorial. But to create our memberships approval program, we just need to head over to AOV Up and then memberships. All right, and then we'll head over to membership plans. Go ahead and create our membership plan by just clicking add new membership here. And then here we'll just add the title of this memberships plan. For example, this could be our free membership tier, right? Just name it appropriately. Okay, and then here where it says grant access upon, we've got three options. So we can manually assign users to this memberships plan, or we can automatically enroll all new users to this particular memberships plan, or we can assign them to this plan if they purchase a specific product, right? So I'm going to select user account registration here. And here where it says enable admin approval, we'll select yes. And then we've got the option to automatically exclude certain roles. So we can take it a step further and we can create various different restriction rules based on this memberships plan. So we can say, for example, yes, we do need to approve this user's account, but also we're going to restrict users to be able to access XYZ page or product, right? So we can add those if we want, but I'm just going to leave it here for now. Now we'll hit publish. Okay. And next we need to go ahead and configure email settings. So for example, when a user has been approved by the admin, we can automatically send them an email to let them know their account's been approved or vice versa. If it's been rejected, we can also automatically trigger that email as well. And then finally, we can set up various different notification in the event that a user's trying to log into their account and it's still in that pending phase, right? So it still needs to be reviewed by the admin. We can go ahead and configure those messages and to do so we can just head over to settings okay and then we'll navigate over to messages right and we can scroll down to where it says membership approval messages right so when they first create their account we can leave a notification if their accounts pending approval we can go ahead and customize this message here in the event that we've actually rejected their account we can add a custom notice here so when they try to log in we can display that notice so just configure it to your liking and then just hit save changes and the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and configure our email notification so we'll head over to WooCommerce and then settings and then emails. And then when we scroll down, we can see these three emails here. So we can see membership approved, membership disapproved and admin approval notification, right? So we wanna automatically send the admin an email. So whenever there's a new customer that's pending approval, right? So we just click on each email and then we just enable it. We can go ahead and customize the subject line. We can customize the email heading and we can add any additional content here as well. 
And if you wanted to further customize this email template, we can just copy this file to our theme here and then we can customize it that way. Right, so let's go ahead and test this out. OK, so before we test this out, I'm assuming that you've already got user registration active on your website, right? So if we go settings and then we go general here, we can see that anyone can register to our site, right? And we can choose the default user role here as well. Let's go ahead and test this out. So let's copy this URL. Let's open up a private browser. So in terms of the login and registration page, I'm just going to leave it as the WordPress default login and registration page. If you want to customize it further, I'll leave a link on screen to a different video where I'll show you exactly how to do so. All right, so let's just go WP login PHP, and then we'll just click on register. We'll choose our username here and then we'll add our email address. Okay. And then we'll hit register. Okay. It's fine. Let's minimize this screen. And now the admin should get an email, but also if we navigate over to AOV up and the memberships here, we can see there's two users pending approval, right? So we can just click on this, the filter only by the pending um, accounts. And here we've got some quick links so we can either approve this member or we can disapprove them. And if we want as well, we can click on to the profile. And then here, if we added any custom fields to our registration page, we'll be able to see them to further review the account here, right? So from here, we can also change the status to active right and that will automatically approve them just hit save before we actually approve or reject this user let's actually try logging as this user and then we'll see the notification message that we set on the settings right and the messages okay so let's navigate over to the login page let's enter in our username or email address we'll say testing to or we'll paste in our password okay and then here we can see this notification we're saying it's pending approval right so let's actually approve that user and then let's try login again. So let's go approval. Okay, so we've approved that user now and now let's try log back in. Okay, and here we're able to log into our account just fine.